Well, it's a lovely day in the marina here and uh, decided to take uh, some time to put some nice new Fender socks on my lovely princess Fenders. So uh, I um, understand some people are not too sure about how to get these on. So I'm just going to show you how I do it and uh, bear with me because I'm having to film it myself. Anyway, here we go. So as you can see, we've got the Mahoney Star 4 size fenders from Fender Equip in the UK. And they've provided these um, appropriately sized Fender socks, uh, which have got the tie at the bottom. And uh, they've very nicely put a princess logo in there for us. So um, I've just had the fenders all inflated at the chandlery to the correct pressure, taking into account that they warm up in the sun and uh, now we're going to put the socks on so they won't go on without a little bit of help some people use fairy liquid um, i'm actually going to use some silicon so uh, this does the job so i'm just going to spray a little bit, bit of that onto the fender the clean fender which i've cleaned with the uh, cb50 and um, also uh, magic sponge so just so you can see, spraying a bit evenly around fender. Not too much, just a little, just a little uh, light covering. And now I'm going to get the sock and uh, put it on. So this is a little bit difficult to film one-handed, but uh, it's important that you line up your logo with the logo on the fender so that the hole for the rope is at the right um, alignment so that your fender sock sits there nice and proud standing out out outboard like that so lining that up you can tweak it a bit once it's on but uh, try and get it straight so here goes so as you can see i've um, pulled the cover down the sock down i've got the emblem nicely lined up with the hole and I'm about halfway down and I, it's now just a matter of pulling that last bit down so that the sock fits snugly all over the fender. I don't think I'd be able to get this on without the silicon, um, but the silicon is doing a nice job. So here now we have the sock right down over the fender. We haven't pulled it too far because we don't want to pull it to stretch it. We want this to sit nice and slug around the bottom. And then we're going to go over how we, how we tie this up. So what I do is actually untie this knot at the end so that I've got two separate pieces of rope. So now I have pulled these two bits of string up evenly and untied the knot. And I'm going to wrap them in different directions around the uh, bottom of the fender, going through the hole from each side. So now I have these fairly neat wraps and I just can tie a reef knot. Uh, securing these two and then to tie a bunch more reef knots on to make a chain which I'll then tuck under the end of one of the loops of the rope. And we now have this little plait of uh, reef knots which I'm just going to tuck under the end loop to tidy up. So now the little chain of uh, reef knots is, is tucked under the loop of the rope and it's not going to go anywhere. And um, doing this way means you can get it off reasonably easily to wash them over the winter. Um, so there we have it, one nice new sock ready to put the rope on and uh, only three more to go.